vlog. It is Monday and it is, I think, around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We have been up cleaning for hours. I actually got up at 7 because Crosby needed to come and change a flat tire, so... I kind of assisted in that. It was a really good learning experience because now I know how to change a flat tire. Punk got two things in the mail today, so let's check them out. This is that new 360 one. Whoa, it's in 360. Yeah, yeah that's I great. did that. So the first package is in this little pink mailer. Ta-da! It is the Stay Messy shirt from The Messy Heads. It's printed on the Hanes Comfort Blend t-shirt and it's so soft. I really, really like this. It's the blue with the magenta. I saw Stella Ray had one of these. She has the yellow one and unfortunately that one was sold out so I got the blue one and it's so cute. I'm so excited to wear this with that new red skirt that I have from ASOS. Next, we have something from the Elf Beauty Squad. It's almost summer, which means serious hang time with your besties. Ooh. Cool. Let's see. These are best friend eyeshadow duos in Peach Squad and T for Two. Then there's a Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And then a Expert Liquid Eyeliner in Charcoal. So that's what we got this time around. I'm excited to try this and this eyeliner because it kind of reminds me of the um, the NYX one. They're a precise liquid liner. So I changed my shirt. As you can see, I'm in my messy head shirt um, because you guys know I love jeans and t-shirts. This is a size small. It fits really, really well. And it was $20 and then $5 shipping. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Hello vlog, it is Thursday and it has been a very long time since we vlogged. I think the last time we vlogged anything was Monday, so a lot has been going on. We've been trying to clean the house, get situated. Um, now that our dad's not here, I've moved back into my old room. And Tuesday I ended up going to urgent care because I was having really bad swelling in my jaw and in my, what I later found out was my lymph nodes because of a um, tube dysfunction in my ear that they think was caused by allergies and inflammation. So I'm trying to deal with that. It's pretty painful to be honest. So I've been just taking ibuprofen for the pain and they said it would take anywhere between three and four days for the steroid that I'm taking to have any sort of effect. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm still in a lot of pain. Um, so hopefully that will subside soon because you can really see the inflammation versus this side. And I don't know, it was really scary because I, my first thought was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. But the swelling has really gone down since Tuesday when it was massive. That's basically it. I'm gonna show you what we bought because I think you'll be excited. I am now in the studio, but check out what we bought. Ta-da! It is a Rode shotgun mic, and this is just on our Canon 70D, so now when we record anything in the studio, we will have nice audio instead of that kind of really echoey audio, which I know we've needed to invest in this for a very long time. We just haven't. So I'm really excited about this. I'm going to do some test video with it right now because Melissa's out, and... Yeah, that should be fun. I want to film a video later today, so hopefully that'll be up sometime this weekend. We shall see. And yeah, that's it. I think Melos is home. Is she? Mm, no, she's not. <laughs> okay. Welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Punk. Today I'm going to be making some empanadas for dinner. I'm using my friend Andy's recipe, which is going to be eggs, spinach, and cheese. And I hope it turns out as good as the ones he made for us. I already have my hard boiled eggs going. I did six of them for 12 empanadas. Our friend Maria picked these up for us at Fry's. 
I'm not sure how much they were, but I let them defrost because they were in our freezer. So my hard boiled eggs are done. I don't really know how to make hard boiled eggs, so I hope they're good. So I'm just peeling my hard boiled eggs. I think they turned out pretty good. Now I'm just cutting up some garlic and onion to quickly brown it before I add in the egg and spinach and cheese for the empanada filling. Ugh, I'm crying that onion. Just adding in the spinach to my browned onions and garlic. And this is going to cook down a lot. So depending on how many empanadas you're making or for how many people you want to add more than you think. I'm just adding the hard boiled egg, chopping it up. I think I'm only gonna use four, honestly. That should be enough. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some cheese. I went with the casserole blend, which is a mixture of yellow and white cheese. You can do mozzarella or asadero, whatever you like, and as much or as little as you want. We're just gonna fill them and make sure not to overfill them or they will burst while they're cooking. Look at that. We wanna egg wash them with some egg white. Okay, so I was able to fit eight empanadas on this baking sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for 20 minutes and I will see you when they're done. work those angles figure eight. Oh my gosh perfect hello vlog it is saturday and punk and i are heading out right now to go grab some coffee and go by the library we also need to get new smoke detectors because punk just tore hers apart even though i clearly showed you that there were no batteries in it we are in find a good CD because we need new music for the car. What are you looking for? Country. <laughs> Land rhymes. So they didn't have the CD that Punk was looking for, but she just happened to find Lemonade, which I think we've checked out before, but they don't have it on Spotify, so it's kind of a win-win situation. Yeah, for sure. So I'm about to put in the Beyonce Lemonade. I'm so excited for this. Last week, Punk and I actually went to the Rihanna versus Beyonce, I don't know, kind of dance party that they had at Crescent Ballroom. And I feel like I've been wanting to listen to this album since then because they didn't really play a lot of music off of this album, but it was so good. I hope they do it again. So before we hit up the library, we actually stopped by a yard sale. Now I don't usually go to yard sales, but last Last week my dad took us to I think what one or two yard sales that we drove by and I kind of I don't know wanted to go to one today and look what punk found two tables that match her other table that she got at savers these were two for ten so five dollars each we cleaned them up the lady also happened to have the glass and they're almost the same size as the one that you got at savers it's basically the same size I thought that by, they were not assembled, they were just on the ground, so I thought that the legs looked much shorter than the one that I got at Savers, so I thought they would be really nice low end tables for my bed. We assemble them, we bring them into the room, and they are almost the exact same size as the table that I already have. So. I'll probably put one right next to it so that they're matching, and then we'll have an extra one for whatever i thought i would take my old one out and these would be maybe this high and i would be able to use them as end tables but since they're the same size i still have to do the kind of like collage thing that i want to do underneath here where i wanted to cut out some stuff and do like a collage yeah that's cool I that'd be kind of cool the question that we have is where do these come from? We looked for them online and couldn't find any. Do people make these or what? It's on sale and it's sold out. Um, excuse me. 
so our daddy olive punks tabasco chipotle i put that on everything and he said he didn't like it but he finished it all off and of course we came to get it and they're out also i picked up some cherries because i've been eating i think like roughly half a bag in one sitting <laughs> they're on sale right now sorry we have to go to another fries so we came to buffalo exchange we cleared out our closet punk found one thing yeah. Eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I found some other stuff that I wish worked, but it didn't. So. This is really cool. Show the flame one. You didn't even notice it was a flame. There's stars. But now I see it, and it's really cool. And then stars here. This would be like you if it wasn't cropped. You would like this. If it didn't have this on it, don't even play right now. Comment down below. Like, smash the like button if it's true. <laughs> So we came and got some boba at Snow since we are in this part of town. Check out what Punk has. It's like the size of my head. Almost dropped it. Mm -hmm. Right. She's had it for what? I think almost a year now. A year, but yeah. this is the first time we've actually come and refilled it because when our dad was here, he decided to use it to put his coffee in. I also tried a new flavor. Pistachio definitely recommend so the sun is going down but i think we have enough light to take a photo for the thumbnail as many of you guys may know if you've seen the thumbnails recently we enjoy taking the pictures we're currently in an alley right now so it is around eight o'clock right now and punk and i are just unwinding tonight i don't know if we're going to watch a movie or catch up on a few of our tv shows because we really didn't watch any tv while our dad was here I'm going to be using a mask tonight, the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack, and then I'm going to do my whole night routine for you guys and show you guys some of the new products that I've been using. But first, to take what little makeup I have on my skin off, I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Makeup by It Cosmetics. I love this stuff. You put it on and your hands have to be dry and then you rinse it off. It's kind of similar to the Dermalogica pre-cleanse, but I don't know, I like this a lot. I warm it up in my hands just a bit, so make sure your hands are clean when you use this. And then I just rub it on my face. And I find that it's safe around your eyes too. There are some that I've used that I feel like they kind of burn when I get them in my eyes, but this I don't have any problem with. I'm going in really quickly and using Milky Jelly Cleanser all over my face. I'm ready for my close up. Come on in. So Punk is actually going to be using the Ordinary Peeling Solution tonight. I've used this twice and I really like it. The first time I really didn't see a difference, but the second time I used it, I saw a difference the next morning. My skin was glowing, it looked radiant, and I didn't have any kind of tingling sensation. So we'll see what Punk says. All right, put it on. Okay, how do I do it? So you need uh, one here, 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 here. Okay. A little bit more because... What do you mean? You said a dot, Melissa? Well, yeah, but a generous amount is. You said a dot. Thumbnail. I'm doing a blood facial with my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel? It's kind of burning where the zit is right here. Mm, that makes sense. That where like there was like kind of like a, a slight, like it was starting to scab over. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, not really like around my nose itches a little bit but okay you can only leave it on for 10 minutes so before i finish off my night routine i'm actually going to use one of these charcoal cleansing strips i got these at walmart they were really inexpensive they're not as nice as the uh, is it biore but i feel like they work better they're kind of cheesy looking on the outside i don't know if you guys have any suggestions as to what works well to i don't know minimize my pores and size let me know all right time to finish off my night routine first i'm going in with the ordinary's glycolic acid toning solution i've been using this mostly at night Now I'm going in with Paula's Choice Resist Omega Plus Complex. This is a serum for all skin types. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I use this in the morning and at night. Now I'm using IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. 
just rubbing that in kind of patting under my eyes and last but not least i'm using glossier's priming moisturizer rich my favorite moisturizer i love the way this smells and that is it that is my complete night routine the only products that differ in the morning i am still finishing off my pixie glow tonic I'm also using Glossier's Invisible Shield because I tend to be outdoors and if I'm in the sun. And then I also use Dermalogica's Stress Positive Eye Lift. You kind of put this on and it has a really nice actually applicator and then you massage it in and I find that it kind of helps depuff my eyes in the morning. And I also use the Shiseido um bio performance glow yada 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 which i don't know if i really like this i said that i didn't but i still use it because i feel like it illuminates under my eyes yeah that's basically it so we've come to the end of the night which means the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for spending another week with us i think this week has been maybe not the most exciting, but we've been trying to get back to our regular routines, cleaning the house, cooking at home, eating vegetables. I'm trying to get rid of this ear and lymph node thing. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Also, before we leave, check out this sick evaporative cooler that we picked up this week. Very nice. Very nice. It cools this room down tremendously. I will listen to my room at the end of the night because my room is very hot. So we call this the little robot. Look at it. Wheel it off. Wheel it away. Let's go, robot. We have to get one of these for Mal's room. Bye bye. Come on, robot. Go on, girl. Get it. Go on, girl. Get it.